What's up guys, welcome to the channel and it's time to build the Kyosho Turbo Scorpion. Um, so I put a video up a few days ago, it might have been last week now, uh, with all the kits I've got and I asked you to decide for me which one to build. Now the Kyoshos were really popular, the Turbo Scorpion um, and the Beetle, loads of you commented saying build them and I agree. I've done lots of Tamiya's on the channel recently and there's quite a few Tamiya channels about, which is good because Tamiya's are awesome. But not many recent Kyosho ones I've seen, especially not of the uh, the classic range or um, I think they're called Legends. So today we're going to get this unboxed, we're going to get it into a rolling chassis and then I'll do a part two where I'll put the electronics in, paint the body and it'll be finished in part two. I'm not going to drag it out too much because I don't really like doing build videos. They take quite a while to um, record and edit and I just like getting on with the build and sometimes when you're stopping and starting to record I think it can kind of ruin um, the fun of building so you can come along for the ride we're going to get this built first thing we will do though is I'm going to get out of the box and I'm going to show you the quality of the parts it's just completely different to the a Tamiya kit that you would have built this stuff most of it's metal comes with bearings uh, and loads of other bits which I'm going to show you now so the Turbo Scorpion this was released originally in 1982 i believe this is the re-released one that came out i think it was 2016 i know they started doing i think the beetle was 2014 this was 2016 it was the fifth um, re-release of like the classic or the legend or vintage range whatever they call it now this one out of all of them box um box art it just looks really nice and on this re-release model They've done a few. They made a few changes. I think the wheels are slightly bigger. The shocks are different. Um, the gearbox gearbox has got a diff in it. I think the original. I'm not sure if the original one had a diff in it. I know the Scorpion didn't. And there's just a few changes. And I'm not. And I'm not 100 sure on all of them. All I know is that this has been improved from the original. I also know that it will take a brushless, no problem. And that's why I've ordered a brushless for this. Anyway, let's get out of the box. So straight away you can see very nicely packed in there you've got your little blister pack there with all your metal parts you've got a pre-assembled gearbox in there pre-mounted tires on your wheels i'm not sure if they're glued but the wheels look really nice now these ones just noticed on the box they've got um the white lettering whereas on here uh, there's no white lettering but there is on the front i've heard that actually on some stuff uh, you might get some later tyres. Not an issue, would have been nice to have the white lettering on there. But it is what it is. So, tyres and gearbox. There's your little main tub there, the space under there for the battery. And then you've got your uh, servo goes in there. Hoping to be able to get my ESC there. But, nice white tub. Pre-cut body. Um, it's always nice to get stuff that's been prepped for you. I mean, I don't mind doing Tamiya bodies, but sometimes cutting them out, especially the wheel arches. Obviously, this is quite a basic one, but the wheel arch is going to be a right pain to do. And then here's some of your chassis parts, rear suspension plate, gearbox mount, rear shock stay, front stays. There's your diff, your rear swing arms. These are so nice. Uh, and then your alloy shock cases. Again, really, really nice. Then you'll have all your other bits and pieces in there. I'm going to get out in a minute. Now, Tamiya fans, let me show you this. Die cut decals. Apart from, I don't think these are. These are really cool. Look, little cartoon ones. I love them. I'm going to have to find some nice places to stick them. But anyway, main decals are all die cut. So a pre-cut body, die cut stickers. It comes with bearings. Why haven't I bought Kyosho's more often? Again, nothing against Tamiya. I love my Tamiya's, but this is kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a posh version. Right, I'm going to lay it all out on the bench, get the instructions out, go to part one, and we're going to start building. Lovely alloy um, chassis rails there. Really good quality. I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. Mm. I'm 
Posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight. It doesn't have to be so special. I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright. Right, let's take a moment to look at this chassis. It is so nice. Everything goes together really well. Everything's clean and fitment is really good. Everything's hex bolts. The only issue I've got at the moment is it looks like they've put a um, slightly short hex bolt in. I think it's meant to be 18 mil. That's 18 mil there. That's probably 16. Now I don't know, I thought at first I'd probably picked the wrong one up, but there's not even meant to be one that size in the kit. I looked at the parts list, so it looks like instead of the correct one, it's a slightly shorter one. We'll see if it works, but I know the size of that, so I'll just have to order another one in. But other than that, everything has come together really well. The shocks are so nice, really nice, red anodized. I've got three of them done already. Just got to do the last one. You get this cool little tool, you have to make it, just put that metal plate in, a little adapter um, for your little spanner there. But when you're putting your shocks together, that slots in there, and that adapter goes over the fixing on the top of the shock. And then you just turn it, and it allows you to tighten that up without having to get a pair of um, like pliers or a little spanner on there and scratching it. Really cool little idea from them. And that's the... Uh, it's a good indication of the quality of this, giving you that sort of stuff as well. No expense spared. Right, I'm going to get this shock put together, and then we're going to get the shocks mounted, and then I think it's probably ready uh, to get the wheels on. go guys that is it for this video or this part of the build we have a rolling chassis this has got to be the nicest kit i've ever built it just i mean all i can say is it's not an rc car it's a work of art anyway i'm going to leave you with a closer look at this beautiful thing part two we'll get the rest finished we'll get the body painted there's a bit of a shortage of white paint at the moment so i might have to get maybe a pearl white or a metallic white i think that looked quite nice I'm going to order some paint. The motor and ESC should be here pretty soon. Anyway, enjoy the closer look at this, and I'll see you for part two. It's beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. channel and it's time to build the Kyosho Turbo Scorpion.